If you look at how my face was before and how it looks now, you can really see that there's much more kind of like lifted look. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a really nice lifted face with makeup. It's honestly such an amazing technique and it's gonna give you the most snatched look ever. I can't wait for you guys to try it. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Also, I'm over on Instagram too, so make sure that you do go follow me there too, because I think you're gonna love my stories, which are all about kind of unboxing, product reviews, and everything I get up to when I'm not filming for YouTube. Now let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so let's start with my eye cream. I'm applying my Ulla Henriksen Winkle Blur eye cream, just a little bit. So I wanna make this super easy for you guys. So I'm just gonna like speed through the bits that are not really that relevant, but obviously I wanna show you the whole, like finish off the whole look. So just gonna do my moisturizer. This is my FLP moisturizer. Okay, also just gonna apply a little bit of my lip maximizer. And before we go any further, I'm gonna apply some contact lenses. Now I've had so many of you guys asking me about what lenses I wear and I'm going to start showing you the lenses because I feel like you guys really want to know. So today I am wearing Leala lenses and I'm wearing Dazzle Brown. These are daily lenses. So I'm just going to get my lenses. For some reason I find this eye a little bit more difficult to put a lens in. Then I just kind of like blink, blink. Okay, so I'm gonna just apply some concealer to my eyelids. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. Tiny bit of powder in my hand, I'm using my Ben Eye banana powder, and then I'm just getting some of that powder on my puff. You've seen me do this so many times, right? So let's just speed through this until we get to the relevant part. So this is where we're now gonna start lifting the face in different ways. So as you saw, I put my concealer on just on the inner corners there. You can put it on however you wanna put it on, totally up to you. But once you've got that kind of coverage, and obviously bear in mind, I put my foundation on top of my concealer, which is called underpainting. That's the technique I'm using now. So I'm gonna use a dark concealer. I'm using the NARS concealer. It's quite a dark shade. And all I'm gonna do is apply this in strategic places. And then I'm gonna apply a much lighter shade in strategic places, which in turn is gonna to help to give me that really nice lifted look once I put my foundation on and then I'll just add a few finishing touches. Tiny bit here. See, it's the smallest amount there. Okay, I'm gonna start blending this in. So I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush. Now you can see the direction is going in the same direction. The angle is the same. It's all going in the same direction. And now we're gonna start buffing this. So what I'm using is a smaller part of the brush and I'm keeping the shape the same. I'm just kind of like making sure that there are no harsh edges. And same thing here. And you can see this is actually a little bit above the end of the lash line. You can already see how that's really lifting the face. Okay, now this section here, keep it the same. We don't wanna take it too far in, but you'll see how this direction, it's almost like, as well as obviously giving the illusion of something, like because everything is going in the same direction, it kind of forces your, your eye to, to just see that everything is lifted. This is also gonna help give a really nice lifted face. Now this we wanna take into the jawline. This is my hourglass concealer in Beach. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply this here. So you can see it's going right below where I've applied the darker shade. That's gonna help lift it. Also right below the darker shade here. And then a little bit more here. Okay, now I'm gonna blend this bit here, but I'm using my sponge, just because I want it to kind of like blend into anywhere else that I've applied that concealer, or like, you know, like my Tarte concealer. This is also gonna make sure that I get a nice sharp line that goes up. 
I just kind of like flip the sponge so that it picks up any excess. And I'm just kind of like pressing this in. So we're keeping the shape where it is, the placement where it is, sorry. And I'm just gonna go back with that Hollywood complexion brush, just go over just so that it picks up any harsh lines. There you go. Now whatever's left on this sponge, I'm just gonna take some onto the forehead down the nose, just so that I don't have any kind of like blank areas. I'm gonna go over with my foundation. So now I'm just gonna buff this on. So I'm not moving around anything underneath. I'm literally just buffing this on so it gives me a nice veil of color over this. But yeah, I still wanna be able to see this come through. So a very small amount of foundation. Can you still see how even though we've applied the foundation, everything is still so lifted? So you can really see that's kind of being lifted up there. You can still see some definition along the cheekbone there, but generally your eye kind of goes up because everything is kind of like going up in that direction. So I'm just gonna apply my powder, set everything. Now I do kind of like to apply my powder in a specific way too, so that it kind of adds to that whole lifted look. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm using a powder puff. I use the Laura Mercier powder puff and I just kind of like, basically squeeze it like that and then I use this side so I probably just wash this like once a week. I just kind of like I have the powder here and then I press almost like roll and then I dab on my hand to take all the excess off and then I go in so there's not like a crazy amount of powder. So it's really hard to show you but I'm just pressing it. See how I take it up there too? See by dabbing it on my hand I get an even finish and I don't get like a bulk amount of product. Like it's very consistent, you know? And then I do this in these areas here. And this also helps to lift. And then whatever's left on the sponge, I take that everywhere else. There you go. Then I get a brush, my veil brush from Hourglass. Take the excess off. I leave my under eyes. I use my Real Techniques brush, nothing on this brush, and then dust it off. See how it's still going up? I'm just gonna do my brows, lips, etc. like all these things that I'm not really using to manipulate the direction of my makeup. And then I'm gonna show you a few extra tips. Okay, so now that all that's done, there are a few more things that I add on right at the end just to help kind of like, almost like set that lifted look, but also give it a little bit of a push, you know? I'm gonna use my Neo powder brush from Kevin Oqua and my Peach Melba blush. And I basically apply this right here. Can you see like I've made sure that I'm holding the brush like that because it sits perfectly along the face, like the, the contour of the face. And I basically just take it up because applying your blush up here can really help to just add to that whole lifted look. Rather than slapping it right there, I mean, if you feel that that suits you, then great, do it. But I just wanna show you how I kind of manipulate the shape of my face. Then I get my Hourglass Ambient Lighting brush. I use this and I basically use this side here and I apply my Fenty Private Island bronzer right along here. So basically where I applied my bronzer earlier, but all it's doing is just kind of like, just help defining it a little bit more. Don't be afraid to go like a bit higher than usual. Like that can really help to kind of just give you that nice lifted look. You see how that just goes up like that? And that's really helping. Then you remember I applied that dark shade there. I just give it a little bit of a touch there because I'm already getting that nice lifted look here from that concealer that I applied. And if you look at how my face was before and how it looks now, you can really see that there's much more kind of like lifted look. You can see that everything is a lot more lifted. I feel like that concealer that I applied underneath, it really does help to kind of like, it gives you, it, it's, you're kind of like working from the base, which means that it lasts longer and you really kind of get that nice lift at the end. So you could potentially just not do any of that and then go in with your powder at the end. But trust me when I say it doesn't last as long. So like if you start with your concealer underneath and you really kind of shape the face and contour it in that way, and then you go over with your foundation, which is kind of like a light finish, like a light coverage or medium coverage, but put a very small amount on so that you, you know, it still comes through like how this is still coming through. 
and then you go over with powder it just adds that extra kind of like oomph like whatever you want to call it it just finishes it off and it definitely lasts all night because i've tried it trust me and hopefully now you can see how you can still get a really nice lifted look which is subtle by just kind of like changing a few things and you know what i'm like here over at this channel i want everyone to start underpainting because it literally is life-changing when it comes to your makeup so yeah try it out and i think you're gonna love it I hope you've seen just how easy it is to give yourself a really nice kind of like lifted look with makeup. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.